what we have been able to do in the tabulae paralytica is to recapitulate decades of spinal cord injury biology in one single experiment, looking at every single cell type, every single marker gene in unprecedented detail. Spinal cord injury is an event that is interesting to study because there's a very finite point at which it starts. And in order to understand every single thing that happens after that point of injury, one needs to study the time course, one needs to study the, what happens when there is a different severity of injury, what happens if the person is old, what happens if the person is female versus male. And in order to study how all of those different things affect the biological response, you need to include all of that in your analysis. One of the fascinating discoveries that we made in this paper was the effect of age on spinal cord injury. So while young animals naturally form these protective borders which constrain the size of the injury and protect function, old animals fail to do this. And this failure results in complete neurological catastrophe and permanent paralysis. So based upon all of the single cell data, we went and we devised a gene therapy which when given to old animals, rejuvenates the spinal cord, reestablishes these barriers, and prevents paralysis. So as you can imagine, when we collect this data, we have hundreds of thousands of cells that each express tens of thousands of genes. And even asking a simple question like, what is the most important kind of neuron in this condition? What is the difference when the mouse is old versus young? What is the difference when it's male versus female? Asking these very simple questions becomes extremely complicated. And for this, we developed a series of methods based on machine learning that effectively allow us to answer those questions automatically. It's not only essential to understand the biology of spinal cord injury, but also will be transformative in order to develop new treatment that can truly impact recovery after spinal cord injury.